guys, and welcome to my official house tour. channel so today you guys is finally the day it is my huge house tour reveal so as you guys know I said I had a house tour coming August 2020 and here it is August 2020 well actually not really because we're pre-filming <laughs> but that's okay when you see this it'll be August I'm so excited to invite you guys into my home I have put a lot of time and effort and all of those good things into decorating it. I've talked about this before, but this house is literally like my biggest life accomplishment thus far. It's a huge blessing. It's a miracle home. I'm thankful for it every day. And I thank God every day that he has blessed me to be able to have such an incredible <laughs> home. And shout out to Mark back there. That is our cameraman. He is amazing. Shout out to him for all the footage. And of course, shout out to my baby sister, Bianca, our chief editor here at Brie Caramore Inc. Productions.com.org. I can never decide what it's going to be. So every day we just say all of them. But anyways, you guys, <laughs> without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into the house tour. And it is going to be a three-part series. So the first part is going to be the first floor. The second part will be the second floor. And then the third part is going to be my glam office reveal that I'm super, super, super excited to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. Well, you guys, don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe this video. Let's make it go viral. Literally, we've spent so much time on this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram at Brie Cara Moore, all one word, all spelled out. Oh, and also everything, literally almost everything in the house, we're linking for you down below in the description box. So check that out. <laughs> okay, you guys, well, let's go ahead and get into it. I love you so much and I'll see you in the house. What are you doing here? No, I'm just kidding. Come in. <laughs> Welcome to my house, you guys. So this is my beautiful, amazing home. You guys seen lots of clips of it on Instagram, but this is the full house tour. So I've officially been in my house, I think it's been about two years, if not like a year and a half. I officially closed on this house October of 2018. It was a very special year. So now you guys get to see the fruits of my labor. Okay, you guys, so when you first walk in my house, the first thing you see in my entryway is this console table. So this is a mirrored console table. I really don't remember where I got it. I think I got it from Amazon, but I actually brought this over with me from my condo that I was in, and I just thought this was a perfect space for it. Um, so as far as accessories, I just got this lamp on the top, which I think I got this from Home Goods, but that might be from at home. We can link something similar. I've got these two really amazing candle holders. They're shaped like pineapples. It doesn't really go with anything in the house, but I really like them. And they're from Home Goods. And then here is like a stack of coffee table books. These are pretty special because the first all three of these actually are from Paris. So the bottom one we got in Giverny when we were visiting Monet's home, Bianca and I. Um, the top one here, I think this is, oh yeah, that's from the Louvre. And then the top here is also from Versailles when my mom and I were in France. And then you've got this Becoming by Michelle Obama, which of course is like a staple in every young black woman's home. If you haven't read it, pick up a copy. So then as you first walk in, I just want to mention I have the most amazing custom done flooring. So this is actually not wood. It's like porcelain tile that looks like wood, but it's all gray and it's got like all these different shades. Okay, so this is the powder room. 
So it's got the same amazing custom wood floors like I talked about that are all throughout the first floor. And it's literally just a powder room. So you've got a nice little sink over here. And it's just got like, like lots of marble accessories. So the soap dispenser is from Target. And then the little marble tray on the toilet is also from Target. And that just holds like extra toilet paper. And then I have a marble trash can as well. My plan for this room is to wallpaper the whole entire room. I just think that's gonna look amazing. Alrighty, so then as you kind of walk towards here, you've got two doors on either side. So this door here is literally just a door for storage. And then this door here is just leading out into the garage. So yeah. step into this part of my home which is really really open that's one of the things that I really really like about my home and my home layout it has a really open concept so you can see the kitchen the dining room and the living room all in one huge room and I absolutely love it so first things first when you come over here we have this humongous floor mirror this is the Omni mirror from Z gallery it is absolutely incredible it's one of my favorite mirrors from Z gallery absolutely beautiful and then up here we have this amazing chandelier, 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 <laughs> which is very sentimental because my daddy installed the chandelier. As I mentioned before, he is an electrician by trade, among many other things, and he actually hung the chandelier for me, so it's very sentimental. And this is the Omni chandelier, so it's the matching chandelier to the mirror, both from the gallery. And it's in the smoke gray color, I believe. And then as you walk into the room, the first thing you can see is this huge rug. So for the downstairs, I really wanted everything to be very light and neutral. I didn't want any pops of color. I really just wanted like gray, marbles, ivories, and that's all. So the rug is very neutral. It's from Boutique Rugs. I'm not sure the name, but we'll definitely link it down below. And then all of the furniture in this room is all custom made. I had this furniture custom made by a furniture shop in New York City. Back at the time when I was getting ready to move into my home, you didn't really see a lot of like velvet tufted furniture with like the acrylic legs, which is now really trendy. So I had to have it all custom ordered. So the couch, the two side chairs, my sectional that you'll see upstairs in the movie room, and then my bed were all custom made, but we'll definitely link some similar ones down below. And I love this furniture. So it's all dark gray. It's got amazing nail head trims, and then it's got those really, really amazing clear legs, which I'm obsessed with. On either side of the couch, you've got these two side tables, and I actually got these from House. That's where I ordered them from. So the accessories on them, the two boxes in the middle are both from Home Goods. That starfish on the bottom is also from Home Goods, and then this chest set, the acrylic chest set on the other side, is also from. Oh no, no, this is from Amazon, and I'll definitely link that down below. Okay. So accessories on the coffee table, we've got this really cool hourglass, which I found at Home Goods. I love it. Um, there's two of these orchids on there. I got this from Amazon. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about them, but that's okay. And then this really amazing Walmart find is this amazing marble picture frame. And there's a picture of me and my family in there. We absolutely love that. And I've got two of them, so one on either side. And then on either side of the couches, you've got these two stacked ball lamps, and I got both of those from Target. They're really sentimental because, my God, Mommy purchased those for me for a home warming gift when I was in my condo, and I brought them here, and I just think they go really well. And then up here, we have these fabulous floor-to-ceiling sheer curtains. My daddy actually hung that curtain rod, so it's very sentimental. I love my daddy, as you can tell. You've got my coffee table. The coffee table is also from Howe's. I love this coffee table. It's not very well put together because that's when I was not so handy, but that's okay. I love the coffee table decorations. It took me a while to get what I wanted, but I finally did. This vase is from Home Goods, and the flowers I actually did myself, and I used the tape method to put those in there. I think the flowers are from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. This faux marble tray is from Home Goods. This little block thing is from Home Goods. The diffuser is from Target. The marble um, coasters are also from Home Goods. And then all of these crystals that you see are also from Home Goods. 
The little silver box on the second shelf is also from HomeGoods, surprise, surprise. And then you've got this amazing stack of books. The big one on the bottom is like a staple book in every influencer or YouTuber's home. That's that amazing Tom Ford book. I bought mine on Amazon. And then on top of that, I've got the Dior catwalk book. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with Dior. They've got some amazing images in there, so it's really beautiful. And then just for decoration, I stacked my two crystals on top of it. And I love how the whole coffee table turned out, so. Okay, so this piece over here is also really, really special. So I was looking for one of these, I don't know what they're called, maybe like a, a candle holder or something like that. But usually they're very expensive. Like I think I priced them at Z Gallery and they were like 250 or just something like that. I found this one at Home Goods. It was $75, but the only thing was the top of it was gold and so was the bottom. And so my baby sister Bianca, when she was here last summer, she spray painted it silver for me and I absolutely love it. built marble fireplace wall it is absolutely incredible it's massive and I absolutely love it so they did put a fireplace inside and it does turn on so it does have a remote but it's like stuck in here so we won't bother with it but this is what it looks like it doesn't really give off much heat but that's okay because I live in Houston so who needs heat anyways and then of course I eventually because at first and you guys saw this in on my Instagram post Oh, look, it's me. There was nothing here at first because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, but I did go ahead and decide to put a TV on the wall, and I'm absolutely happy that I did. I absolutely love this, you guys. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen this new video, this is my new luxury haul for 2020, you guys. This video is at 15K. Let's get it to like a bazillion, so keep watching it. have my amazing Hermes Avalon blanket in gray. This is my second one. I have another one up in the, mu the, <laughs> the movie room and I absolutely love it. Very good investment piece. And then as we walk over here, the first thing you see is my amazing, amazing dining room. So the first thing about this room that makes it so very special are the two pendant lights that are hanging down. I actually had those custom installed after the home was built. I originally wanted to do one right in the middle and center, but as you can tell, there is a vent there, so that was not gonna happen. But yeah, I love those lights. They look really, really pretty when they're turned on. And this area definitely just needed something extra and the lights added it. The dining room table is from Wayfair and I absolutely love it. It is in this white color. I was either torn between white or silver, but I'm definitely happy I went with the white. Like I said, I just wanted it to be really neutral down here. But I do have a little pop of color, as you can tell, with these blush mauve velvet chairs, which I absolutely love. And I think I found these on house, and they weren't very expensive. They were amazing, so we love those. And then for table settings, I just have these amazing place settings, and these are all by Z Gallery. So it's just marble or faux marble. And then I found the most amazing wine glasses. So I actually got these from, I think it was like Crate and Barrel and these are rose glasses. So they actually have like a rose tint to them. So very, very cool. And then on the floor, I have this amazing rug from Z Gallery, which I forget what the rug is called, but we'll definitely link it down below. And if you get close enough, or sometimes when you turn the lights on, you can actually see a little bit of sparkle in the rug, because it's got shimmer in it. So I absolutely love this rug. And then of course here, I have this full faux fur bench with the acrylic legs, so I love how that ties in with the furniture in the living room. And I definitely knew I wanted a bench on this side, and then it adds a pop of color to just break up all of the mauve in here. So, love this room, love how it turned out. Okay, and then welcome to my kitchen. So TBH, this kitchen is just for show because as you guys all know, I cannot cook, 
But I love this kitchen because very special people cook in this kitchen. So my daddy spends a lot of time cooking in this kitchen. Bianca spends a lot of time cooking in this kitchen and so does Deja. So it's very sentimental. I don't spend too much time cooking in here. I'm more of a like order out, go to a restaurant, go to brunch, go to lunch type of girl. It doesn't get put to that good of use but that is okay. So it's just got all the typical things that a kitchen has, like a, a stove and a microwave and a pantry. These clear jars here, I think they're called apothecary jars. I got them all from Home Goods. I absolutely love all of the white quartz in this house. So it is actually not marble, it's actually white quartzite, which is a lot less there's a lot less maintenance that goes into taking care of quartz versus marble, so that's definitely why I chose it over marble, and I absolutely love it. It's super easy to keep clean. And then as you come over here, we've got this cute little setup here. So I've got this candle, um, and I think that's just from Target. It's a vanilla scent. I've got this like faux marble tray. I sometimes use that like during holidays. And then I've got this marble bowl, which I'm really disappointed in because it was quite expensive. I think I got it from Crate and Barrel, but it was a lot smaller than I expected. So no fruit will be going in there. And then I've got this marble paper towel holder. We're just having a whole marble vibe. And that one I actually found at Bed Bath & Beyond. And then over here on the sink, I've got this marble tray or marble dish, which I think I actually found that at Target. And then the two marble soap dispensers are both from Target. And the one here is for dishwashing soap and the one here is for hand soap. Oh, and then last but not least, you've got my amazing bar stools. So I love these chairs. This is what they look like. So they've got channel tufting. I just felt like I had way too much traditional tufting going on. So I wanted something a little bit different. And I like how kind of gray and just simple and like a little bit edgy they are, so. I think those are very cool. They have like a little modern touch. There's more apothecary jars on the top of the cabinet. And I just did that to add a little something something. And then as you come over by the stove, you've got this cool little marble planter. My mom's always telling me that I need to add a touch of green in my house. So there you go, mommy. And I found that at home goods. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you into a really special room. This is my bedroom. And at first I was hesitant about showing this room, but I decided that I'm going to. I'm gonna be vulnerable and just let you guys all in my life. So here we go. of heaven as you can tell keeping in theme with the first floor it's all very neutral very clean there's a lot of ivory a lot of creams a lot of grays okay so yeah like I was saying the bed is custom made but I'm pretty sure you can find anything like this out there now so we'll definitely link something similar and the headboard is this really really nice light gray I really wanted it to be a lot lighter in here I didn't want to use the same dark gray that I use for like the couches or the sectional upstairs so all of the bedding, the first layer of bedding, which is kind of that creamy color, that is from Target as well as the matching pillows. The throw on the top is from Z Gallery. And then the two kind of like, I guess, channel tufted pillows behind the two ones from Target are also from Z Gallery. And then the throw that's on top of the bed is a faux fox fur throw. And I believe I ordered that from Amazon. Next to the bed, you have these two amazing mirrored side tables, which a lot of people ask me where I get these from, and I honestly forgot, so we'll definitely link them down below. I may have gotten them from Amazon, but don't quote me. So the side tables are absolutely amazing. I knew I wanted something mirrored in this room, and then at the top of the side tables, you've got these two gorgeous mirrors and I believe I got those mirrors from Howes. I just really love the shape and I love how they're fully mirrored. So on the top of the two nightstands, something that I'm really, really proud of. So I actually made these floral arrangements. I follow this lady on Instagram. It's Tamara or Tamar something. I'll link it down below, but she did a DIY and I essentially went out to, I think like Hobby Lobby and bought a clear round vase. And I bought this spray paint, which is like a mirrored spray paint. 
and then lots of flowers you guys honestly they came out lovely and I used the tape trick to put them in there and they're beautiful but they were super expensive to make two of those I think I spent like 250 so honestly it would probably be cheaper to just buy them already made and then the lamp next to it is from home goods and I'm obsessed with this lamp I really like the idea of like mixing stones and jewelry so I really really loved that kind of mixed stone look and they got a really pretty gray shade and it's the same on both side tables. Okay, and then on the very top, which is probably one of the like main things that you see when you walk in, are these two huge prints. So I definitely knew I wanted something above the bed, but I knew I wanted it to still be very minimalist. So that's exactly what I got. I'm like obsessed with these kind of like line silhouette prints. They're really trendy. Um, a lot of people have these in their houses, but I'll definitely link it below. I think I got these from Society6 as well. And they're just really, really large and they're black and white. They're very minimalistic and I absolutely love it. And I love that I added like a black and white touch in here as well. Completely obsessed with that. And then over here is my dresser. So I love this dresser. Z Gallery has one that's similar that is all mirrored, but I knew I did not want a full mirrored dresser. I'm really OCD and I cannot be bothered with like obsessively cleaning it for fingerprints. So I got this one, it's in silver. I don't remember where I got it from, but I'll definitely link it below. But one of the main reasons that I got this was because it came fully assembled and all you had to do was screw on the legs. This was back before I knew how to put everything together. So, but I absolutely love like all the inlets and all the really cute designs on it. So that's super cute. And then on the top, you've got this little flower box from Home Goods, And then you've got my iPad and my speakers and TV, of course. I'm really into like minimalism in my bedroom because as you can tell like my house is definitely not, not minimalist but like my bedroom is and I just really like that. It's very clean and calm. Oh and then we've got these curtains here. I think I got these from like Tablecloth Factory or something so I'll link them down below but they're just ivory curtains. They're 10 foot curtains so they're super super nice. And then over here we've got this mirror. So this mirror actually came with me from my condo. I got this from Home Goods, and I love having an angle toward the bed. I like to be able to see myself when I first wake up. So yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna come into my bathroom. So I really, really love this bathroom. I love all of the tiles. So this tile was custom done tile. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that the wood floors in my living room, kitchen, dining room, all custom made, completely obsessed with it. It's like this light cream wavy thing. This was pre-people's like marble obsession. So in hindsight, would I love a marble bathroom? Of course, but I really like this as well. So I went with gray cabinets throughout the house and I really, really love that. And then, oh, these are really sentimental. So these are two soap dispensers and my mommy actually gave these to me. I think she got them from Bed Bath & Beyond, but they're really sentimental because my mommy gave them to me, so we love that. And then over here on this tray, I've just got like some skincare that I use the most. I've got my favorite perfume, that's the Betsy Johnson perfume. And then I've got my lavender water facial spray that I'm obsessed with. And this cute candle that was sent to me by Alex Malay. I love her company, absolutely love it. And then over here behind you is the tub. So it's got that same tile, it's a huge tub. It doesn't have jets in it. I could have added jets, but I didn't. I don't really get in there very often to be honest, but the tub is there, love that. And then another thing I love about this bathroom, the shower is amazing, so it's really, really big, but it's got like this cute little bench in it, so you could like sit down here if you wanted to and just like hang out in the shower. I don't do that often, but I mean, if I ever wanted to, I could do it, so. And I love how the towel goes like all the way up to the ceiling, so it just, it really makes a statement. I'm obsessed with this bathroom. Oh, and then last but not least, this is just the toilet area. Nothing very exciting in there. There's a toilet and a trash can and a cabinet. Okay, so welcome to my first closet. <laughs> so this is a closet where I keep all of my clothes. I keep a couple of pairs of shoes down here. These are just shoes that I reach for the most. And then on the other side, there is a whole shoe shelf as well. So down here, I've got my sparkly Uggs that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I have my first pair of Michael Kors boots that I don't wear anymore, but they're riding boots. Um, and then like a bunch of just non-designer heels that I tend to wear when I'm going out and then lots of jelly flip-flops because I'm obsessed with them. So the closet is kind of arranged by like occasion. 
So these things here are more like special occasions. So I've got this really amazing dress from Fashion Nova that I never got to wear. I was gonna wear it on my birthday, I think like two years ago, and it just didn't happen. I've got this amazing custom gown that I wore for my mom's, I think it was like their 50th anniversary, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I don't even know if I can still fit this, but it's really, really pretty. And then here in the front is mostly just work stuff. So I've got this really, really amazing Calvin Klein dress. I'm obsessed with this dress. It's extremely classy. And another one of my favorite dresses, this is actually from, I think I got this from Zara or H&M, one of those, and I'm obsessed with this dress. You guys have seen me wear this in a video, so. Love that dress. Oh, and it's all color coordinated as well. <laughs> so if you come over on this side, so all of this here is going to be all going out clothes. So you've got this amazing gold sequin dress. I don't remember where I got this, but I absolutely love it. I put it on like a couple days ago and my butt was hanging out. So, but I'm still going to keep it just in case. So yeah, that's all going out clothes. Here on the bottom is kind of like my more casual clothes, like wear everyday things. I've got this super cute heart dress from Fashion Nova. I wore this in a video. You guys love this dress. It's so cute. This is the leopard print dress that I wore at Prospect Park on the last night of Outside Open before I was before I got COVID-19. I got COVID in this dress. So, yeah. On this side here is essentially just clothing that you could wear to brunch. So, it's a lot of like brunchy clothing and like satin jumpsuits and stripey things and really cute things so like let's see this one this is a pants and a top set and i wore this in miami this is from fashion nova love this super duper cute and then this dress i also love this dress this is the dress and i don't remember where it's from still got the dry cleaning tag on it oh it's from fashion nova and i wore this on the evening of my graduation from college so super pretty dress i love this dress 